Hello, good evening, Katia. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I am fine, but I am tired too. Tired? A heavy day? What? Did you have a heavy or a difficult day today? Uh, yes, yes, because every morning, every Monday, yes. um, all the teachers in the school um, clean the school. Okay. General cleaning. Cleaning. Oh, and really? I, I, you get tired. I hurt. <laughs> I can imagine, I can imagine. So you have a very interesting morning. Yes, because uh, yesterday it was raining in Metapan. Oh, really? And yes, um, in Pumuch. And uh, out, I don't know how to say, but aula se inundó. Flooded. Flooded. Then I have to... Uh, to say subirme a la escalera subirme a la escalera get up uh, well it's actually get on no. up a ladder like this a uh, ladder and clean the canal yeah the channel wow I was so scared because <laughs> of the height. Yes. <laughs> but we don't have any men in the school. Only only women. Only ladies. Yeah, that's a problem. But I I I can. <laughs> that's cool, that's good. You have to make do. I can ver cómo se resuelve. That's it. Well, Katya, today is our last day together. Mm -hmm. We will see next module. Ya veremos el próximo módulo. It's going to be interesting. So don't forget to keep in touch. Hay que mantenerse en contacto. Yes, I, I am waiting for the men. Uh -huh. But... No nos ha mandado el mensaje todavía para inscripción. Yeah, it's because uh, I think that they are waiting for some uh, the the get go. Están esperando la orden de salida from Insapor. That's all. Eso es todo. As soon as they get it, they are going to contact you. Tan pronto la tengan, les contacto. Okay. I will ready. Uh, yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. We hope it's going to be soon. Esperamos que sea pronto. Yes. So we don't get that, you don't lose that much time. Para que no pierda mucho tiempo. Maybe the next week, uh, no. it again. The, the paperwork. Yeah, possibly. As soon as they get the paperwork, it's fast. Tan pronto ya tienen documentos de rápido. Okay. Usually it takes less. Normalmente toma menos. But this month, is, all the years is like this. Todos los años en este mes es así. A little bit slow. Mm -hmm. Then they're going to run. De ahí en adelante es a correr. Trying not to waste time. Tratando no perder tiempo. But don't worry, it's going to be fun. We are going to keep in touch so we can help you guys. Vamos a mantenernos en contacto para brindarles un poquito de ayuda. Extra. Okay, teacher, thank you. No, no problem, no problem. Uh, it's going to be fun. Don't worry. Nos vamos a divertir. Okay, well, thank you very much, Katia. And welcome. Thank you, teacher. Hello, Linda. I don't hear you. Oh, I... hello, teacher. How are you? Fine, thank you. And tell me, Linda, how was your day? My day was uh, fine, teacher, fine. Fine? It's fine. normally day. A normal day. Yes. You look tired today. Yes, I am. 
Mm, no, yeah, it's my look. <laughs> Just sleepy it's, then. Oh, day. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's a Monday. It's a Monday. It's understandable. Uh, exactly. On Mondays, everybody's like, uh, it's a Monday. Another, another yeah. week. Yeah, but what can we do? That's the way it is. <clears throat> ¿Qué le vamos a hacer? Cabal. <laughs> Teacher, uh, fr uh, uh, Friday I did not um, connect. Yeah, I was waiting for you. <laughs> because uh, it was like um, from the world. Late. Uh, my hope, yes, late from the world, uh, my house, because the traffic was horrible the Friday. Yeah, Friday. Well, actually, Fridays is almost always like that. Terrible traffic. On Fridays, is always horrible. Yeah. Oh, no. And remember, it was the end of the month. Yeah, I think the mess. Uh huh. So, but today you were on time. So, today there was no that much problem with traffic, I imagine. No, today, no. Today is tranquil. Um, calm. Take calm. Today was calm. That's cool. Yeah, because mm. sometimes Mondays are also difficult. Um, no, but um, today no. Oh, that's great. That's great. I went out last night, salía noche, and there was traffic actually. Había traffic. A little bit. In my route. No, no. No traffic. I'm in traffic now. Uh, I went to San Salvador and it was a little bit complex. I live in Santa Tecla. Okay. And where do you work? In San Salvador? In, sí, in San Salvador, in La San Francisco. By San Francisco. By San Francisco. Oh, really? Ooh, that's beautiful traffic. <laughs> um, so I take um, Diego turn, de Olguín. Yeah, you take the Diego de Olguín uh -huh, in order Diego. to get faster, para llegar un poco más rápido. But uh -huh. still, aún así, sometimes to get out from San Francisco to get to the Diego de Olguín is a little bit hard. A little bit, but when eh, cuando tomo los próceres, yeah, I take the process. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I mean, if, if you get the process up there, it's not that much. Si lo toma hasta allá arriba, not that much. I mean, up from Uca, but before Uca, mm -hmm. sometimes it gets crazy. Yes. Yeah, I know that traffic is beautiful. <laughs> And driving there, you have to be like in Formula One. I can say como de Formula One, and that's straight. You gotta be watching everything. <laughs> yeah, but in the morning, in fifteen or twenty minutes. Oh, uh, really? Arrive. Yeah. Arrive. 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 So, what time do you check in? ¿A qué hora uh, at a Eight. Eight. Uh, there's traffic, but no that much. Hay traffic. No. Of time. So yeah, that time is it starts to get to flow. Comienza a fluir. Because um not uh, begin the students. Yeah, when students are back, it's going to be terrible. It's going to be one hour for you. Yeah. Yeah, that's. That's a Usually one, uh, 40 minutes and mm -hmm. an hour. From 40 to one hour. Uh, From yeah. 40 minutes to one hour. Yeah. That's okay. terrible. But um, now is take it easy. <laughs> now, oh, now it's easy. Now it's easy. Yeah. yeah. 
Thank you. Interesting talking to you, Linda. Linda, welcome. Thank you, teacher. Basilia, hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. So, so Basilia, how was your day? Um, uh, on Sunday. Yes. I went to the supermarket. Cool. Not very. <laughs> That was different. That was different. What time do you go to the supermarket? In the morning, in the afternoon, or at night? Um, in the morning. Oh, supermarkets yeah. in the morning are crowded. No, but... Not really? In, no, in this market, no. I tried to. I tried to go to the supermarket yesterday in the morning. And the, 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 the lines, the queues, for the for the cashiers were like uh, the whole ale. Latinia, Latinia were almost the whole ale. Ale. Look at the word in the chat. Ale. That means ale. that's uh. Ese es un pasillo con que tiene a ambos costados cosas, asientos, productos. That's an ale. Okay, in a plane, in an avión, you walk in the air because a hall, a hall, puede ser un pasillo. Oh. But it just have like rooms, perhaps, in one side. Puede ser que oh. tenga solamente cuartos en varios lados. But a nail got both sides. Okay, yeah. that's a nail. Oh, yeah. Where I went, man, it's terrible. Sunday's morning, it's horrible. Uh, but in the, in the supermarket, sometimes, but usually it's not uh, full. It's not yet. No, here where I go, the one closest to my house, the más cercano a mi casa. Sunday mornings, you can see like, uh, like what? 25 people per line. Yes. A lot of people. It's yes. terrible. I don't like going to the supermarket Sunday's morning. So you went to the supermarket. And what about the afternoon? What did you do in the afternoon? In the afternoon. And then I, I relax. You relax. I don't, I don't do nothing. I relax. Okay, that's cool. So you yes. took a little time for yourself. Yes. Yes. That's nice. That's nice. Excellent. Great. It's always good to relax a little bit to take a deep breath and relax. Well, yes. <laughs> Excellent. Well, thank you, Basilia. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Mr. Oscar Aguilar, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. I'm so so, and you? I'm just great here. So tell me, how's your day? Um, uh, a little bad. <laughs> oh, really? Yesterday I run a, a caminata. Okay. What do you say? A walk. I work uh, in four hours. Uh, uh, what was that? Cross help. County? Cross County? This is, this is a um, Spanish dish. Cross Country is when uh, se va al campo a caminar. <clears throat> okay, Cross Country, yes. It's uh, um, one que ver este. One million more, one million persons. Oh, really? In yeah, and I helped us. Me, me tocó ayudar a varios. <laughs> Help. And so, see, sí, yes. Oh my. And God. now I, I, well, I, I have, a, I have Irish. Okay. Well, you know, in my so case, legs. Yeah, I can imagine. I can walk. <laughs> I can walk long distances and for long hours and no problem for me. You can walk for long distances, many hours and no problem. But only if uh -huh. I have to. Pero solo que tenga que. 
I mean, oh, okay. <laughs> I, I do not walk just for fun. Yo no le camino por diversión. That's not <laughs> But I, I like this because uh, yesterday is more persons. I, I help you. Estaba y estuvo lluvioso, entonces el, el lugar estaba resbaladizo y todo eso. Yeah, I can imagine. No, in my case, I mean, I can walk, but as I tell you, not for fun. <laughs> not for fun. For me, walking and uh, not my thing. Yo lo, quería, yo lo quería invitar a la siguiente. <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. <laughs> okay, teach. <teacher. laughs> I yeah, understand. I, I mean, uh, <laughs> I go to the gym, I exercise, but okay. but no way, no walking. I hate doing cardio. No me gusta hacer cardio. That's <laughs> terrible for me. I'm too old for that thing. I understand. Yeah, you know, Do you I don't like this? Yes, I tell you. It's not for me, <laughs> not for me at all. Well, very uh, good. Thank you, Oscar. Interesting talking to you. Yes, thank you, teacher. Humberto, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine, you? I'm just great. How was Sunday for you? Tell me. Everybody's telling me about yesterday. What did you do yesterday? I, I did paint. Oh, yeah, you told me you were going to paint your house, the front of, yes, the front of your yeah. house, right? <laughs> How did From it work? House. It was raining in some places. No le llovió? Mm, mm, yes. But the in 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 this in in this area mm, don't raining on morning. Okay. Uh, so you could paint in the morning. And, Pudo pintar por la mañana. Yeah, I, I yes. I I I start I started? I started uh, 6 a.m. <laughs> uh, what time on a Sunday? Yeah. 6 a.m. You know what? Sí. Uh, I, I know an old saying for that. Yo me conozco un dicho. Eso no es de Dios. On a Sunday. No <laughs> oh, way. In English? In English? <laughs> in English, eso no es de Dios? I don't know how, would, how I would say it, but man, that's not right. <laughs> That's not okay, right uh, on a Sunday, say uh, I am yes. terrible. See, I, yeah, I, I started to say 6 a.m. because um, uh, I know, I, I think uh, probably rain. Okay, I told. I told. I told. Oh, okay. I told it could I told it I told it could probably rain okay I thought it could probably probably rain yes well yeah yeah I understand you but still man I better paint next weekend next weekend but on a <laughs> Sunday unless a menos que I have to go to work I can wake up early Solo si tengo que ir a trabajar. Otherwise, uh -uh. I mean, for me, it's 7.30, 8 a.m. Okay. <laughs> no. And start working um, around 9. In my, in my case, all the weekends, yeah, Saturdays and Sunday, I get up 7, 7 and 8 is the more... The latest. The more... Latest, yes. The latest. Wow, that's interesting. That's interesting. Well, thank you, Umberto. <laughs> Welcome okay, to the class. You, Let's see who else is around. Reinaldo, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How's everything, Reinaldo? Excuse me, I don't understand. How's everything? ¿Qué tal todo? Ah, oh, very well. Very nice. How was Sunday for you? Uh, it's uh, interesting because 
yesterday we went the bet with uh, my my daughter have a how do you say cachor? Oh, to the bed. Yes, to the bed. Yes, to the bed. So your daughter has a puppy. A puppy. Yes, they have a, a puppy, and okay. then my wife and I went uh, a meeting in the church, Catholic church. At church, at the Catholic. Church. Catholic Church. Catholic Church. And then only in, a, in my house, in the work workhouse. Working around the house. Yes. Okay. And tell me, what's the breed of your daughter's dog? The breed. Uh, um, La raza. <laughs> pitbull. A pitbull. It's pitbull. Oh. Yes. But this a um, excuse me. How do you say, how do you say? Rasa breed breed. It's a breed. A uh, little people. No, it's tall people. The big one. Yeah. No. They are nice. They are very friendly, and they love to play. Yes. <laughs> they um, love to play. But my wife don't like it. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. But they're very friendly, you know. I know. Yes, in fact, they are very friendly. It's, yes, it's a a, little, a beautiful uh, puppy. Yeah, they are. They are. Well, thank you very much, Reynaldo. Nice talking to you. Thank you, Emily. Hello. Hi, teacher. How are you, Emily? Fine, and you? I'm just great. How was Sunday for you, Emily? Quite um, fine. It was fine. What did you do? Tell me. Because I went to the park and I ate churros. Churros? Oh, churros españoles. Yes. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> you went to the park. What did you do at the park? Because in my city, Yes. Uh, the park is. Uh, como lo más top ir al parque. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. So that's the 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 the, the recreation area for everybody. Yeah, because you you can walk around the park. That's cool, <laughs> man. Another person who loves walking. That's bad. That's bad for me. I was talking to Oscar that I hate walking. <laughs> well, interesting. Welcome to the class, Emily. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see. What about you, Carlos? Still got time for two more. Carlos, how are you? I am fine. How was the weekend for you? How was Sunday? It was boring. Boring? Yeah. You didn't do much yesterday. Mm. I did nothing. I just stayed okay. in home. You stay home, watch TV, watch the cell phone. Yes. Man. It's not nothing new. Nothing new. Yeah, I understand when we can start like that. Been there, done that. Don't worry, when you marry, they're going to always put you to do something on soil. No se preocupe, cuando se case le van a encontrar que hacer los domingos. Ok. Uh, if not, you can ask Humberto, Reinaldo, or Mario. When, as soon as you get married, you're going to have obligations for Sunday. That's a fact. Eso es un hecho. They, all, they will always find something for you to do. Siempre le van a encontrar una actividad. Well, welcome, Carlos. Caroline, hello. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Tell me, Sunday, yesterday, what did you do, Harleen? Well, teacher, I always I went to the church, and okay. the Catholic church. Catholic. And look at me. Look at me. Catholic. 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 Catholic as a tit, as a zeta, como una zeta. Ah, okay. okay. Catholic. Catholic. Yes, Catholic Church. And also I went to the supermarket. 
Okay. And, and uh, the yesterday I washed my my clothes. Oh, my clo I, clothes. I did the laundry. You can yes. say it like this. You can say I did the laundry. That's another way uh, to express it. It means uh, the same. I did the laundry. Significa lo mismo. I washed my clothes. You say I did the laundry. Ah, oh, okay. It's okay. Thanks. I did the laundry. Yes. Oh yeah, sometimes I start for that. It's necessary to uh, yes. I know, I know, I know. I start actually on Saturday. Yo comienzo sábado to do the laundry. Ah, okay. No. Always the Sunday. <laughs> on Sundays I try to iron my clothes. Ah, okay. Oh yes. I am the evening. I my clothes. iron. Iron. Iron, yes. Iron. Is this better? Look, Ira. Ira. Mm, okay. Ira. I, I like ironing. I don't like washing. Okay. Yes. It's, yeah. better. it's better. Yeah. You know, in my whole life, I can count with this hand the time somebody has iron for me. En toda mi vida puedo contarle con esta mano las veces que alguien ha planchado mi ropa. I don't like people touching my clothes. Okay. Yeah, I am very delicate, so I do it my own. Por eso lo hago yo. Ah, okay. Okay, it's okay to say. Ah, that's why, that's why, that's why I like it. Well, thank okay. you, Harlan. Nice talking thank to you. Thank you, too. Let's see, there's Elizabeth and Mario. Hello, Elizabeth. Hello, teacher. How are you? Hi, teacher. Sunday, what did you do? Tell me. Um, I went to the beach. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. That's my type of trip. Eso son los que a mí me gusta. Which beach did you go? Uh, los Cobano. Oh, right there. Sonsonate. Yes, right there. Nice. It's a nice beach, actually. I, Very beautiful. Yes, I love it. Okay, what time did you go back home? Sorry. At what time, at what time did you went back home to your um, house? Uh, seven o'clock. Seven o'clock? Oh, early. Yeah. Very early. Yeah. Yeah, I am more like a night person. I love to, I love to drive at night. Yo prefiero manejar más tarde. Mm, yes. Aunque regres, veníamos saliendo, de, perdón que le hablas, salimos yeah. como a las cuatro quizás. Oh, too early. I love, I love washing the ocean at nine. You know? Que no fuimos a cenar después. <laughs> ah, that's why. That's the reason. Well, thank you, Elizabeth. Welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Mario, hello. How are you? I don't hear you. Is it plugged? I think we're having problems. No, we cannot. Perhaps later. Tal vez lo solucione luego. Let's see, guys. Well, I'm sorry that today it took me four minutes longer. Let me tomo cuatro minutos más. But I wanted to greet everybody. Today is our last class. But not because it's our last class, we are going to take it easy. We still got some, uh, some little aspects about present perfect that we are going to cover. And let's make a small review. Let's remember. Uh, okay, Mario, excellent. So let's make a small review. Let's see. Last week, we were talking about present perfect. Do you remember? First thing I told you was that Present perfect was used for something that started in the past, not finished, yet, continuous. Then I told you that it was also used for something that happened at an indefinite moment in the past, right? Like, uh, well, I have talked to Katya about her attitude. 
So don't worry, guys. No se preocupen. I have talked to Kathy about her attitude. When? You don't know. Usted no sabe cuándo. But I did it. Pero lo hice. When? At an indefinite time. Sorry, Katia. You were the first on my screen. Fue la primera en mi pantalla. You know? And I have, uh, well, I have started practicing a different uh, methodology with Emily. It's hard with her. When did I start? You don't know. But that action is not finished. Es acción no terminado. Okay? Actually, the verb I use is start. Realmente el verbo que utilicé fue comenzar. Okay? Now, something very interesting and that I want to tell you is that when you get the verb start or the verb finish and you get another verb after that, always in ing. Cuando tenemos el verbo start y el verbo finish y ponemos otro verbo después, siempre en ing. Okay? Look at the sentence that I told you. The sentence I told you was this. Let's see. I have start, started practicing. So you see, I have started practicing. Okay. Whenever you got start, finish, go, you can place another verb and that verb is going to be in ing. Siempre vamos a poner un verbo después de, si ponemos un verbo después de eso, va a ir en ing. Después de have, después de start, después de go. ¿Ok? Y se va a entender como que fuera su forma simple. The base form. ¿Ok? I have started practice. Yo he comenzado a practicar. ¿Ok? Is it clear? ¿No entendemos? That's part of the of the of the participle we were watching uh, last week. ¿Se acuerdan que estuvimos viendo el participio la semana pasada? It's part of that. Okay, but let's continue. Today we are going to talk about again about present perfect, but we are going to focus on the periods of time. Like if you remember last week, I I remember asking uh, Katia, and I asked her. Hey, Katia, tell me, since when have you taught at the university? Or how many years have you taught at the university? I have taught, taught at the university since 20 years. No, 22 four, years. Four? Four. For, For 22 20, years. years. Okay. Since. Since. Okay. So you see the difference? She told me, oh, I have taught at the university since 1999. I have taught at the university for 22 years. Okay. If you see in those two situations what point of the difference were the expressions for and since. Lo que nos marcó la diferencia fueron esas dos expresiones, for and since. One of them refers to the period of time. Una de ellas se refiere al periodo de tiempo. The other one refers to the moment when the action started. La otra se refiere al momento cuando la acción comenzó. ¿Ok? So, like Emily, tell me, Emily, how many years have you studied at the university? I have started. I have studied. Studied. The university. Uh, for? For five years. For five years. So, you are almost done. When did you start? I start since. No. I started in. I started 
since. In, in this case, in, because you are using simple past, notice. Dese cuenta que en ese momento me está usando pasado simple. So, I start in. Uh, I started in 1917. Mm. 19. 2017. Oh, yeah. What was worried, yo dije. Eh, buena es para que no se le noten los años. Yeah. Thank you, Emily. Let's see, Reynaldo, tell me, how many years have you been married? Uh, I have I, been married, I have been married, uh, four, four, uh, 16 years. 16 years. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, that's nothing, don't worry. Yeah. Uh, but but in, with my uh, my wife is yes. how do you say accompanied? Oh, you live together? Ah, uh, yeah, we live together in twenty two years. Oh, we have been living together. Excuse me, excuse me. Repeat, please. <laughs> we have been. Uh, we have been together. Together. For, we have been together yeah. for 22 years. Yeah, because you can say it in the other form. Puede decirlo de la otra manera, pero es un tiempo que van a dar más adelante, que es el presente perfecto progresivo. You can also say, we have been uh -huh. living together for... Uh, okay. 22 years. 22 years, yeah. Man, I'm going to make a statue for you. Le voy a hacer una estatua. 22 years, that's a lot. Yes, I, my first daughter uh, ha, is, has tw is uh, 23 years in, oh. the, in July. July. Oh, sorry. really? Okay. Yes. Listen, listen. My first okay. daughter will turn, will turn 23 on July what? July 4th. On July the 4th. Oh, really? Will turn 23. That expression, cuando yes. siente que alguien will turn, y luego la edad, eh, es, cuando, es similar to when we say in Spanish, cumplirá. Okay? Ah, okay. Oh, really? Wow, that's a lot of yeah. time, my friend. How yes. old are you, Reynaldo? I'm sorry for the question. Um, I'm 20, 46 years old. Oh, you are not that old. No, it's fine. No. Yeah. no. You are young. I am cipote todavía. Yeah, yeah, you are young, <laughs> you are young. You are young. I am 41. So I'm close to you. Just wait for me. I'm espera. Yes. Okay, okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Thank you very much, Reinaldo. So if you see, in a conversation, we can use for, we can use since, okay? And depending on what information do we want to know. And remember, in a normal conversation, you don't get just the present perfect because we have used other tenses here. We use simple present, we use simple past, Mostly the present perfect goes together with a uh, simple past, okay? But let's see if we can project a video. Let's see. Here we go. Let's see. And since, let's see. Time for six years. For a week. I'm sorry. Hello. In this session, the use of for and since will be explained. Note the expressions. For and since. How long did you live in Thailand? I lived there for two years. It was wonderful. How long have you lived in Miami? I've lived here for six months. I love it here. I've lived here since last year. I'm really happy here. Let's talk about for and since. For plus period of time. For six years. For a week. For a month. 
for hours, for two hours. I have worked here for five years. Present perfect with four. She has lived here for 20 years. We have taught at this school for a long time. Alice has been married for three months. They have been at the hotel for a week. Okay, let's remember. We use four plus the period of time, what I told you. Remember, for six years, for a week, for a month, for four, four hours, like for two hours, for three hours. Like, I have waited for you for two hours now. Okay, I have worked here for five years. Now listen, she has lived here for 20 years. We have taught at this school for a long time. Alice has been married for three months. They have been at the hotel for a week. Let's continue. Since plus a specific moment. Since this morning, since last week, since yesterday, since I was a child, since Wednesday, since two o'clock. I have worked here since 1990. Present perfect with since. She has lived here since 1980. We have taught at this school since 1965. Alice has been married since March 2nd. Okay, before it finishes, remember something. Always the time expression comes at the end, right? Siempre la expresión de tiempo viene al final. Yesterday, last week, Wednesday, or the specific day. So, the word since comes right before it. Okay? You see, since 1980. Since 1965. Since March the 2nd. Since last Tuesday. You see, this is the time expression. And the since comes right before it. They have been at the hotel since last Tuesday. So, let's see. Any question? No? Not really? Okay, perfect. Now I got a small exercise. You are going to have a small conversation, okay? But I need to do this. Okay, guys, look at this question. How long have you lived in your house? How long have you worked, worked in your company? And the last one, how long have you studied English? Okay, guys. Please, please, please take a picture of these three questions. Por favor, tomémosle una imagen a esta pregunta. Can you? Is it done? Because we are going to use them for a short conversation, okay? Let me check. Let me check. Let me check. And I'm sorry, just give me a second because I don't know why I cannot check. Oh yes, Emily did it. Is it clear? Yeah, it's kind of clear. So maybe. Let's see, if not, I'm going to send you mine in the other version. Okay. Well, guys, you got the questions. Now, you're going to ask, it, ask them to each other. I'm going to give you three minutes. Three minutes just for those questions. Three questions, it's going to be easy, okay? And let's see, I'm going to create the groups. You're going to be working in small groups. 
okay? See, like this. Please, jump into the groups right now. Three minutes, that's it. 